Hello, in this lesson we're going to talk about intersections of planes. We're going to analyze all the possible relations that you can uh, find two planes in regards to each other. And then we're going to look at all possible situations for a system of three planes and what relations three planes can have with each other. Let's start by looking at all the possible situations for two planes to be related to each other. In this first situation, the normals to these planes are not parallel, therefore the planes are intersecting. And their intersection forms a line, called a line of intersection. If you were to determine if these two planes are intersecting based on the system of equations determined by the scalar equations of these two planes, like for example p pi1 is a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 plus equals 0, and uh, pi2 given by the equation a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 equals 0, this system of equations is going to have an infinite number of solutions. From this system of the equations of the planes, you will be able to determine the equation of this intersection line. That, however, means that you have infinite solutions. Another situation that you may have for two planes is if they are coincident. Obviously, in this situation, the normal vectors to both planes are parallel, and uh, we can say that the intersection of these two planes is an infinity of solutions. Basically, any point from one plane, it's also a point in the other plane. A situation such as this can be analyzed in an algebraic way, uh, probably the easiest way is to analyze the relation between the normals of these two planes. If the normals are parallel, then the planes are either parallel or even coincident if they have a point in common. So you can verify that one point lies on both planes. And uh, the last situation in which you can find two planes in regards to each other, very similar to the, to the previous one, is if you have two planes that are parallel. Their normals are parallel as well, but they don't have any point in common. So basically there is no solution to the system of equation formed by the equations of those two planes. These are the three types of relations that you can find two planes in regards to each other. Moving on, let's analyze systems of three planes. And first I'm going to consider all possible situations in which three planes are actually having at least one solution, we call those consistent systems of three planes. So let's uh, look at that. In this first instance, you see how the planes are intersecting in pairs, but now we are looking at the relation between all three planes, not just two at a time. Therefore, you see that they only intersect in one single point, this red point. So there is only one solution to a system determined by the equations of these three planes. It's much easier to start by analyzing in what situations are the normals of these three planes. So in this case, the normals are not parallel, as you can see. They also aren't coplanar. So they aren't in the same plane, neither. Another situation in which uh, you can have three planes that are consistent, so they do have a solution at least, is this, where the three planes are all intersecting on the same line on, of intersection. So you have basically an infinite number of solution, that solution is being given by the equation of this uh, line of intersection. In this case, the normals are not parallel but they are coplanar. You can place them all in the same plane. And the only other situation that you can have consistent systems of three planes is when all three planes are coincident. If the planes are coincident, so they are basically one and the same, you're gonna have again an infinite number of solutions and in this case the normals are parallel. And of course if you have a point contained in one plane, that's also contained in any other of those uh, two planes. These are all the possible situations for consistent systems of three planes. 
and to continue, let's look at all possible situations for inconsistent systems of three planes. First of all, you may have these situations when planes are parallel. So if you have at least two distinct parallel planes, then the system of these three planes is going to be inconsistent because even if two of them are coincident, there is no solution that belongs to all three. Another situation for inconsistent systems is when you have two parallel planes intersected by a third plane. In this case you have pairs of intersection that have uh, an entire line of intersection but overall all three planes don't even have one single point in common. Therefore the system is inconsistent again. And the last situation that we can encounter for inconsistent systems of three planes is when the planes intersect in pairs just like in this uh, last sketch. You have any two planes intersect on a line of intersection but there isn't any point for the intersection of all three planes. So these are all the situations that you can encounter. So when dealing with uh, systems of three planes we can analyze the normals of these planes. We can determine if the normals are parallel by analyzing if they are scalar multiple of each other and we can uh, determine if the normals are coplanar by using the triple scalar product because as we remember the triple scalar product gives us the volume of the parallelepiped determined by uh, those three vectors so if the volume is zero then those vectors are supposed to be coplanar so use all this knowledge to be able to determine the type and the number of solutions of uh, systems of three planes of course I'm gonna have to do some examples for you to uh, make sure it's everything clear but for now I'm going to conclude this presentation thanks for watching